Weird. Uh, okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> my, my hockey, it just, it literally takes like sometimes 10 seconds, so nothing's happening in OBS. And That's then, weird. I wonder if it's, have you checked the recording to see if it is actually recording? It's just not Well, OBS and, then, and like, then it locks up the whole thing, and when I'm trying to click on buttons to do stuff, or I hit the key to stop the recording, all of a sudden it'll be like, it'll cycle as many times I hit the button, like, really fast. So, it's right. registering it, it's just taking a little bit to register for some reason. That's weird. So I'm just trying to get um, some levels to do some enchanting. I'm going to go meet dude. So you're at um, the sand pit now? Yeah, I'm digging. Okay. Um, but my shovel's got about 50% durability. Like I said, it doesn't have mending. I mean, so I need to put a mending book on it and repair it at some point. I'll go count how many Maybe by the time you books. get stuff going, you can bring me a shovel. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we, we should really make an ender chest probably as well. Well, that would, sort of thing. Don't we have one somewhere? Do we not? I mean, I've used other people's Ender chests, but doesn't it take what? How do you even make? Does it take another obsidian start? and no, eyes of it. Ender, right? And I think there's Ender yeah, that I'm killing in this farm, so there should be. Yeah, we probably could make a couple of those. Then we just haven't. Where is? Where does all this stuff go anyway from this farm? <laughs> just downstairs. There's a. If you're looking straight at where you're hitting stuff to your the right of you, there's a, a ladder down. You've been down there. Yeah, I just couldn't. It. I couldn't remember it been. It's been a while. Um, blaze Raz, Blaze Raz, Coal, Wither Skulls, Bones, Nuggets. It looks like they only, three they must only save out of there. some of this stuff. Well, yeah, once uh, once those chests get full, it, it, it'll despawn after five minutes, basically. It still just cycles down there. But if it doesn't have anywhere to go, it'll just despawn. No, but I mean, they're only saving certain things. Well, you know, there's not Endermen actually there, so there won't be Eyes of Ender there. There'll oh, be I was, just, stuff, looking at, I was but... just looking at Withers, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah there's no Enderman there. Grab a stack of but there is an Ender here, Ender though. in the end. And we have, I have at least one stack of Ender Pearls back at our base from last time I was at the Ender Ender. Um, so we have Ender Pearls. Okay. And I just grabbed a stack of Blaze Rises because we didn't have. Grab, uh, go ahead and grab three Wither Skulls out of there, too. Just fight the Wither at some point. You want to fight him in the sand? I don't think we're prepared uh, no. to fight him now. <laughs> no, I don't have any armor. After that Enderman killed me, all my armor's broke. Uh, I got three. Three Ender Skulls, and I will start heading back. Skilled. What kind of, um, of, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that stuff. <laughs> Why can I speak? Uh, armor, do you have? I don't have any armor. None. It all broke. Okay. I have a pair of pants that have protection to on them that have 16 durability. So, that'll last so you essentially forever. no armor. Yeah, yeah, no, I essentially have no armor. It'll at this last point. you until you don't live anymore. Um, Brian was telling me about that armor that Fedrin was pimping out at first. He says you can sit in lava for six minutes and not die. What kind of what was on that one? Uh, just fire protection, like yeah, just the best of everything. Um, and it, it's put on there in a way that like caps out levels. Um, I don't know. You can't I'm, do. It I'm anymore. assuming it was exploited. Just something like that like some way they changed the game for enchantments allows you to put all the stuff on it and you can't do it anymore so i, I cannot if I'm you gonna didn't make gonna, the armor i'm gonna, then I'm gonna die i don't know what is happening right now i cannot climb what a ladder mean? what the fuck is going on i cannot climb this ladder did you hit space i don't the have any idea i luckily if you hit space with an elytra on it does mess up your climb i'm so glad that somebody was very smart and apparently put slime blocks at the bottom of this ladder yeah, because yeah, you probably had space going up it. I literally was just falling, free falling, like looking at the ladder, like, uh, hello. <laughs> that was, that was weird. Hey, did you ever used to go to church back in the day? When I was young, yeah, my grandma would take me. So was your church the one that you went to relatively like normal-ish or was it? Well, I mean, <laughs> how do you define normalist well, in the so, terms of religion? <laughs> so, well, that's it's true. So, I went for a long time when I was when I was growing up, or I was in like uh, middle school and high school. I started going to church with some of my friends, um, experimenting with religion because you know my parents were not religious people. Um, do you still? I, I still remain an atheist, you know, now, but I was still into the church scene and like helping people and stuff. I didn't like buy into the whole you know, God business, but I enjoyed like helping people go on mission trips and this and that and had a good uh -huh. community of people that were there. So I went to, to church all the time, but it was like a Methodist church. So it was very, 
like laid back services were an hour max basically and then you know it was very normal like stand up sing a song sit down hear the the preacher preach for a while other people might come up and do like guest speeches and then, and then you're gone there was none of the like you know what about sunday school uh sunday school was normal as well like it was just okay but you didn't mention sunday school so i don't know if there wasn't oh you? yeah you know there was sunday school uh okay. but i was like i had some friends that were like pentecostal and went to those churches oh, yeah, where people too. were like rolling on the floor and speaking in tongues right. and stuff at every service. That's what I mean by, I mean normal. Well, as so I went Methodist. to one of those with the with a friend one time, and they took their their little kids there because they said it was more fun for the kids, and that's the whole reason why they started going to Pentecost because people were yeah yeah no the like the little kids like they got bored for normal service you know, but whenever the you know everybody's hooping and hollering and the kids are like super into it. Um, so they actually switched to Pentecostal church for that reason. Cause it was more entertaining for like the four and five year olds. Um, that's, but yeah, that's, so I went to, I never went to the Pentecostal services with my friends who did the whole, like, you know, speaking. I remember what this one guy and this guy turned out to be fucking crazy anyway. Like he's in jail now for like a trial for like sex with minors and things like that. So he turned out to be a real, like nut job uh but he Uh was super 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 religious back when i knew him back when i was in high school and uh like his his life was based around religion and he started dating uh another friend of mine who went to church with him and she was so freaked out after they went to church because she's like he just turned around and fell on the floor and was like (laughs) rolling around and like acting like he couldn't understand me when i was asking him if he was okay like she was super freaked out by it because you know it was (laughs) right it was all weird so i never went to that church but i did go and I don't know what reminded me of this. I think it was because I think it was honestly because this guy recently found out that he's like you know, on trial for this whole like you know pedophilia thing. So it got me thinking about his crazy religious activities. And then I started thinking of this church that I went to with a girl I dated back when I was in early college. And it wasn't she was I, I want to say it's standard Catholic. Um, so Catholic churches are a little stricter and. You know, different in some ways, right. but there weren't. I've been to many Catholic services in my time, and they've never been people like, you know, doing crazy things. But she, we went to this church that her family started going to because she really wanted me to go with her. Like, it, her family was very like, "Oh, he's not a religious person, huh? That's kind of a bad thing." So she really wanted me to go and show that I was, you know, religious, faking it for the parents, you know, to make them, you know, yeah, happy. And it was a newer church they went to, and it was. Sp- super small so there was like it was pews but there was only like 10 rows of pews huh and so it was okay. really short and we were sitting near the back and her pair were sitting next to her parents and all and in the middle of the service this the preacher or pastor or whatever he was that was doing this literally stood up and got on to the pews in the very front of the church and started climbing through the pews, through like over the backs of pews, like walking around people as he was like preaching and getting super into it. And it started reminding me of this like Pentecostal, you know, Mm -hmm. story. And I started looking around and realized that her and I were the only young people there. The young people as in like young adults. There was children there and there was adult adults there. And at the time we were in like our very early 20s, you know, we were the... But we were the only people around that age frame there, especially let alone as a couple that were there. And he was doing a sermon or service or whatever on saving yourself for marriage. And I shit you not. I'm looking up going, this is kind of crazy. This guy's walking through the pews, but whatever. It's kind of entertaining until I locked eyes with him. Oh God. He well, you're was the only one that probably were young enough for this sermon. Uh, really? He was Everyone else there was probably his, old enough. He was on his way to us in the back of the church. And I said something to my girlfriend at the time and I was like, uh, he's coming after us. And she's like, No, 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 he's, <laughs> he's not coming and after us. us. <laughs> like she's like, No, 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 he's not. He's not coming after us. He's just uh he's just, you know, doing this. And as he made his way back, farther and farther and farther, she looked at me and goes, Holy shit, you're right. Like he's he's coming after <laughs> us right now. <laughs> We, luckily he never made it to us, but it's because the people at this church were in my mind crazy. 
as he was walking his way through the pews, people kept pouring and jumping out of their seat and trying to get toward him because he would put his hands on people's forehead and push them back into their seat as if he was like, you know, the hand Saving of God whatever, coming down yeah. on them. And they would like uh-huh. fall backwards and like, they, they weren't falling back and speaking in tongues. They this were is a Catholic back like, church? Go. I don't know. That doesn't sound she, right. So <laughs> she was, she was, I thought she was Catholic, but this was a new church they were going to. And that's one of the things I was going to ask you. <clears throat> it was not a Pentecostal church. But do you know what kind of church does that? What kind of churches have the you know people like the hand on the head? Well, and there's a lot of, down? but there's a lot of like new age churches that don't necessarily subscribe to any of the like Baptist, Methodist, you know, the the Pentecostal, whatever. There's a lot of these new well, age churches so that don't necessarily. When, when do you fall think into... new age churches came about? Because we're talking this was back in like 2000, 2001. I mean, I think they were around back then. Even I don't think this is all necessarily a new thing. Um, it just they are they're not they weren't as common as they are now. I feel like now, at least where I live, you know, there's thirty different brands of of Christ you can subscribe to. Thirty different uh, brands. What Christ branding would you like today? I mean, that's really what it comes down to. And I feel like a lot of these, like I know at least here, a lot of the churches have sprung up th- through conflict. Like uh, many of the churches are a result of some kind of internal conflict within one church, and then a new church pops up. You know, like oh, well, your version of of the Bible doesn't fit my lifestyle sort of thing or you know i want to be a deacon oh i can't be a deacon in this church because i have a divorce so you know what we're just going to start our own church um and so that's happened quite a bit i mean i've been told the history of several of the churches around here and they only exist because x y or z wasn't able to become a deacon or wasn't able to become an usher or whatever and like or really? you know the, really? the, the preacher know. at this church did a thing and we don't agree with this thing i mean several people left the church my grandmother goes to because the preacher's wife uh got diagnosed with bi- bi- bipolar disorder and she stopped coming to church because she couldn't always maintain her emotions in in church and so she didn't want to embarrass her husband and so she stopped coming and if the preacher's wife's not coming to church i don't want to go to that church and so they stopped going to the church but but um, preachers are allowed to have wives in that church well yeah 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 no this isn't um this isn't catholic uh it's regular old, um, <laughs> regular you know, old what, religion. <laughs> I don't know what version of. I don't know if they're. I don't think they're Baptist. No, 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 because the Baptist church popped up down the street after they got in an argument with this church. Um, so they aren't. But no, I mean, like my cousin stopped going to the church because they made someone a deacon that has been divorced. Um, so she switched churches over that. People are real fickle with their religion and what they do or don't like in the moment something doesn't fit within their worldview they just switch and start a new church or find another church that does fit their worldview and um i think that's a real common thing that's i i guess i didn't realize that that's how a lot of that stuff went down um, i think it's way more fickle than like i mean people don't jump like political lines that easily but they 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 jump the religious lines much easier um I don't know. Uh, but there's enough religions out there that you can always find one that fits your point of view, I guess. I mean, I'm sure that that's definitely true. Man, I didn't realize I have uh, the, didn't quite have enough levels for what I wanted. And I have the only mending book we have is a mending and unbreaking three. And I feel bad about putting it on a shovel that already has unbreaking three on it. <laughs> <That's all right. clears throat> but I do have two extra shovels that I have efficiency in i've filled up our chakra box my shovel's about to break so i need to be careful with it not to let it break 116 on it okay i'm gonna come with just another enchanted shovel and then we can just repair that one later or something like that okay well my inventory is almost full so i'm basically gonna take the chakra box and everything back Um, i was gonna look for obsidian actually so we could make a an under chest too that's a good idea I don't actually know how much sand we need. At this point, we're going to need gravel because I've got a whole shulker box in my inventory full of sand. That was quick. That's a lot of sand. That is a lot of sand. Yeah, um, yeah there's plenty of sand still here. Um, how, uh, so so shulker, so let's see, one. We just need to get a, like a barrel for sand or for gravel or whatever because it looks so much like the andesite. Yeah, I made a separate chest there beside all our chests and I put sand and gravel in it. Uh, um, I'll have to find it because I don't. It's just on the right if you look at all the chests. 
Uh, over by the pyramid, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. I'm not by the pyramid right now. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, but we definitely don't have any. Um, what you call it? Uh, obsidian. Which is weird. There's probably some down. There's probably one down in the pyramid. <laughs> the one, <laughs> the that... one that goes to, <laughs> to our portal. Yes. Also looking to God. see if we have uh, Ender Eyes anywhere, though. And I'm not seeing Ender Eyes. My shovel ran out of durability, so there was stone shovels in a chest here. So I was like, I'll just grab one of those. And because my inventory's not quite full yet. Boy, they're slow after we're using that other shovel. <laughs> Such an efficiency five shovel. Yeah, I actually yeah. need some more efficiency on this thing. Um, yeah, we don't have any... Um... Uh, what you call Use your words. <laughs> any, any of those things, man. Uh, any Ender Pearls. <laughs> There's definitely 16 Ender Pearls in a chest that I put in there just the other day. I think they're down in the pyramid. Yeah, I'm, like I said, not in the pyramid right now. So. Okay. Well, there is definitely 16 in the pyramid. Um. What do you? I remember you had that babysitter that was pushing religion real hard on on your kids. Yeah. What are you doing now? Do you have any? Because uh, I know her parent, uh, Julia's parents too, were also interested in. So well, then, you know, it's funny because at one point she had told me what day the kids were getting, um, or Christmas? at least Jack was going to get baptized. Or baptized, I mean, and it was yeah. like Father's Day weekend last year, and I was like, um, excuse me. You know, because she was doing it because her, you know, oh, my parents are going to be in town for Father's Day. So it's going to be like a Father's Day gift. And I was like, that's not how this shit works. Like, you don't do a Father's <laughs> Day gift because your parents are in town of baptizing my children. Like, without, you know, talking to me about this. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily be against it if she really is for it. Because I don't think there's any harm in baptism. You know, it's one of those... You know, the one of those thought weird thought processes, you know, is, you know, just if there is no God and you don't believe, then it doesn't do anything. If there is no God and you do believe, then it doesn't do anything. And if there is a God and you do believe, then you're good to go. But if there is a God and you don't believe, then you're fucked, you know, type of deal. Right, but kids are exempt anyways. No, nah, it depends on what religion you are and how limbo oh, shit, works. Ones the kids aren't even exempt? Well, because limbo's uh, a lot of, they always talk about unbaptized children going to limbo, which is not heaven. It's the place where you wait for the next, like, basically, holy war between Satan and... and how is that different from purgatory? Yeah. Uh, I think limbo, I think limbo is purgatory. I mean, that, I mean oh, okay. purgatory. Well... Um, I know that a lot of religions that once said that kids go to purgatory, like the Catholic Church was one, um, have since rescinded that. The Pope took it took it back. <laughs> well, then, um, on to what is said on land must be true. That's the whole, the whole um, movie of the basis of dogma is about, right? Yes. Uh, because the Catholic Pope says something about walking under this arch that absolves you of all sins, so those fallen angels who are stuck on earth are trying to walk under that because they need to be absolved of their sins now and make their way right. back Right, but for heaven. what it's worth, that was a comedy. Well, yeah, yeah, I understand, but I think it's, <laughs> I think that concept is based off of some belief, like some yeah, religious no, it beliefs. Is. The whole movie's based off of beliefs that are supposed to be held true, but yeah, I was just joking with you mainly because you were basically like referenced it like it was scripture or I mean, something. It, I, dogma in the movie, is my you know, like you get before dogma the gates is my of, scripture, of, yes. and you're, in, you're, you're there before God and he's like, tell me why you did this. Well, you see. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, one of my all-time favorite jokes. <laughs> I'm going to tell a joke right now on stream. Um, is uh, So a guy is, gets home from work early. He was going to go surprise his wife. And uh, he, as he's walking in the door, he realizes that he sees on the counter like two glasses of wine. Um, you know, freshly poured, but there's two of them that are like halfway drank. He hears, you know, sweet music sounds like you know, happening and 
and uh, mm-hmm. going on, and basically, you know, he goes, "Oh my, holy shit, my my wife's cheating on me!" And he hears noises coming from the bedroom, so he runs over into the bedroom and quickly throws open the door, and he sees his wife laying in bed, and she's smoking a cigarette, and she's just like, "Oh, honey, what are you doing home early?" And he's like, "Oh, you know, don't play that with me. Where's the bastard?" And he runs out onto his balcony, and he realizes, like, he looks down and sees this guy like hanging over his balcony, like just the fingertips are holding on. And uh-huh. he's like, oh, that's it. Like, oh, I got you now. And he steps on the guy's fingers. The guy falls down, splats to his death because they're on like the, you know, the 30th floor of some like really whatever. However tall apartment building, he dies. He th- thinks he dies. He looks down and realizes he's still moving. And he's like, oh, this guy ain't getting away. This, a spider literally just spawned three feet away from me in this game. And started attacking me. Like, you sound so upset about it. Well, they're not supposed to spawn that close to you. It's within the you block tell. radius that you can't do that in. Like, you can't, uh, you can't the rules. do that, Spider. Them's the rules. Uh, so he starts moving around. He's like, oh, this guy's not going to get away with this. So he runs through his house, decides, thinking irrationally, he drags his fr- refrigerator across the room, heaves it over the balcony. It lands straight on the guy on the ground, now killing him. But this okay. guy overexerted himself, ends up having a heart attack and dies right there. So they're up waiting in line to go to heaven, waiting in the line. Of course, waiting there's in a line. line there to get in. And, uh, you know, the St. Peter is at the gate and says, you know, tell me how you died. And that determines if you get into heaven or not. And the guy in front of him is the guy that he got cheating. And he goes, he goes, oh, I swear, like I, uh, I was washing windows at this apartment building and my scaffolding broke and I luckily grabbed onto this balcony, barely hanging on. I thought I was so happy and so lucky. And then this crazy guy just comes out and steps on my fingers, makes me fall down. I lived amazingly. And then he throws a fridge on me and I died. And St. Peter's, <laughs> and he's like, that. You know, the guy behind him is like this lying piece of shit. But St. Peter's like, oh, sounds like a wrongful death. Like, that's unfortunate. Welcome into heaven. And he's like, I can't believe this happened. Like, but whatever. So he gets up there and he tells the story like, I caught my wife cheating, you know, killed the guy, which was wrong, I know. But, you know, it was kind of passion or whatever. And then I died a heart attack. And St. Peter's like, oh, I'll, you know, unfortunate your wife is cheating on you. Come on into heaven. And the guy behind him gets up in line and he's like, so what what are you here for? And he goes, dude, I don't know. I was minding my own business, just chilling in this guy's fridge. (laughs) Uh, That's good. (laughs) Minding my own business business in this guy's fridge. Uh, Uh, I I love that joke just because it's such a random misdirection that you're like, nobody's ever planning on getting to there. But... Okay. I wonder if there's really any religion out there that's like based on how you die is how you get if you get into heaven or not. Probably. I I mean I feel like there's something for everything. (laughs) Basically. I mean that's true. It'd be it'd be really interesting to find some of the wildest religions, and I don't mean the wildest as in like the you know, religions that caused, you know, the holy wars and the mass murders and suicides, but just some of the things that are very innocent, but just off the wall. Yeah, I'm sure there's some where, like, I mean, who knows? Just the craziest things you could think of. If you die in the presence of a cat, then you're okay. Then, all, so, then you know, you're a god like, in the afterlife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, crazy, just crazy shit like that, probably. I'm looking uh, for any good deposits of gravel just around our island anywhere. Yeah, I don't know the best way to get gravel, really. Um, the nether, maybe? Nether I proper? guess there is, like, seas of gravel there, isn't there? Yeah, and it's uh, relatively easy to see from a distance because it's just mixed in amongst red. Right. Yeah, because I don't see much going on on our islands in a very super easy way to get and depending on is it one one to one per one per sand it's four sand four gravel so yeah this the ratio is the same okay and then one colored dye oh, you brought back a cactus did we should put a one of those automatic cactus contraption thingies no, yeah, that's not a bad idea. But wouldn't it just need like a, bl- a block a little bit above it and then a hopper underneath? Um, I think you probably need multiple because well, it might not always fall like right in the the right spot. I think the way Nevers normally does it do is a water wild, trench, like water. Yeah. yeah, yeah, water trench and then into a hopper. 
as it grows bigger, we can do that. Uh, so yeah, it just grew to two, box. I think. No, it still didn't grow into two unless it were mismatched. Oh, no, I guess not. Um, oh, shit. Uh, where are you at? <laughs> I'm over here turning concrete into colored concrete, but I missed my jump and fell. So, how did you see the cactus from where you were at? I was up on a pillar of... Oh. Uh, of um, concrete. Yeah, we literally just have the one obsidian over here. <laughs> Ice bucket challenge, huh? That's what the obs I guess so. obsidian is? Yeah, I don't know why it's called that. That's weird. You get all kinds of achievements today. Yeah, I guess so. That's... I, why I saw that cactus and thought cool. it was a creeper when I came around the corner. I got all scared. <laughs> ah! I knew it was there. <laughs> you just pushed me off the stairs. Did I? Yes. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, so green is farm, right? Luckily, I just made those feather falling boots. Oh, uh, I thought maybe you hit your elytra in time. I tried to hit my elytra and it didn't seem to work. Um, uh, yeah, green. I think green was going to be farm and yellow was going to be... Villagers? What? Why do we want villagers? Separate uh, for farm. trading. Okay, so we want to have like a big trading depot. Yeah. We're going to have to work at that. I think they would go good... Um... In that ravine over there, we can clear the ravine out and uh Yeah. Okay, our old portal is relit. I'm gonna go try to find a break in the uh I don't remember why I took it out. Oh that's right, because fucking Hans. Yeah, the, the Hans escaped and we were trying to keep him from coming out of that portal and being just like everywhere. Wasn't well, somewhere way down the red line, like where we were at farther down, what break into the nether proper? It did. I don't know if it still does, but it did. Oh, there's some gravel down here. I need to fix my shovel. I need to put mending oh, on yeah, it. Oh, yeah, I didn't leave my shovel there for you. Um, well, I guess uh, while you're heading that way, we can probably call this episode here and pick uh -huh. up where we left off next All time. All right, folks. See you next time. Bye, everybody.